Okay, if you're looking at this video, you're probably looking at this piece I have listed for sale on eBay. Uh, this is the gear selector mechanism. Fits on Silverados and GMC full-size trucks. Uh, this just happens to be an 06. Um, a lot of times this piece here will break. Uh, or sometimes there's a spring back here that will break. And uh, both make it so this your, your gear selector handle is all floppy and loose. Um, first thing I should say is that you, when you're going to go to do this is you got to pop these two pieces off. Now this one's already off, but you just stick a screwdriver back there, pop that off. There's one on the back. That's the cable that runs down to your transmission and actually shifts your transmission in and out of gear. Now the reason I say that is because you're going to be moving this piece and obviously you don't want your truck rolling away while you're in the middle of doing this. Now, um... Most of these you see for sale come with this lockout cable that goes around up to the lock cylinder attached to them. I sell this without that because in order to get this thing out of the lock cylinder, you have to, or the, the lock cylinder housing, you have to take the lock cylinder out and do some weird stuff with turning a gear in there a certain way and then you're not sure you got the gear in the right position when you're putting it back together and whatever. Uh, I take off this plate. Now there's three Torx screws, there are T25s. Um, you take them off and then this plate comes off. Uh, then you just take this piece and you pull it out. Then there's three T30 screws, one, two, three, and that takes this whole mechanism off. Now you'll notice that this dropped down and especially if you leave your handle on it, it'll drop down all the way. When you go to put this back together, you're going to want to have to pull it, put, hold that back up in the, you know, park position. To slide this back in to make sure that this pin here is underneath this piece here you're also there's this white piece here just I don't I don't know why I do it but just to make sure that that thing's all the way down just so it gets, gets in the plate you know correctly now another thing that's gonna have to happen is you're gonna have to pull back on this just slightly to get the plate back on there correctly now I'm gonna try and do this one-handed with the camera in my hand sometimes it's a little clunky there we go well, geez that went easy but anyways, put the plate back on. This will be lined up. Uh, put your three screws back in, uh, and put your two. You know, put the cable back on the back of this. Put this back on, and you're back in business. So that that's the way I do it. I think it's the easier way than trying to mess with doing all this stuff, and so that's why I sell them that way. Hopefully, this helps.